12 Ways to Annoy the Dutch Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm talking about 12 ways to annoy the Dutch. We will be exploring the quirks of the Dutch culture and how it influences people in the Netherlands daily. The Dutch are known for their love of organization and efficiency. However, they also have certain things they don't particularly enjoy or take part in due to cultural reasons. So, if you have ever been interested in learning more about what doesn't make your traditional Dutchman tick, stick around. This is going to be an interesting journey. 1. Not being punctual Everyone knows about the Dutch and their love for punctuality. It's common knowledge that if you don't show up on time in the Netherlands, you'd better watch out. If there is one surefire way to annoy a Dutch person, it is by not being punctual. It is surely one of the surefire ways to annoy the Dutch. The Dutch are known for their adherence to schedules and finding someone cutting it close or running late can be enough to drive them mad. Whether at business meetings or social gatherings, being on time isn't just encouraged, it's expected. Don't even think about showing up two minutes after the appointed time because you might as well have been two hours late instead. 2. Small talks One of the easiest ways to annoy the Dutch is to do small talks. While it might be commonplace in other cultures, the Dutch prefer to skip straight to the point and avoid chit-chat as much as possible. So if you start blabbering on about something inane while they are expecting an answer, get ready for some serious side-eye. The truth is that small talk can be seen by many Dutch people as shallow and time-consuming, two things they don't appreciate very much at all. They would rather discuss more substantial topics instead of wasting time talking about the weather or recent happenings in celebrity gossip magazines. Small talk isn't conducive to meaningful conversations and just doesn't fit with their values of efficiency and directness. It's perceived as idle chatter that has no real purpose or value. 3. Don't flaunt Now, anyone familiar with Dutch culture knows they're all about keeping it simple and humble. So it's no surprise that when someone comes around bragging and making a show of themselves, they are less than impressed. It seems like such behavior goes against their traditional values of modesty and hard work over extravagance. Plus, Dutch people don't like feeling as if someone is trying out to compete them or make them look bad by comparison. So needless to say, flaunting is a surefire way to annoy the Dutch. So remember, if you want to fit in next time, you head over to Deutschland. Keep calm, be humble and avoid any actions which could be perceived as Willspielen, being obnoxious. 4. Confusing the Dutch with the Dane The confusion of Dutch and Dane may sound like something from a Monty Python sketch, but it is far from funny for the Dutch. For some reason, many people seem to think that all inhabitants of the Netherlands must be Danish, which honestly couldn't be further from the truth. It is truly one of the silliest ways to annoy the Dutch. Dutch people tend to get quite annoyed when someone mistakenly assumes they are Danes. After all, the two countries have very different cultures and even speak different languages. To make matters worse, both nations share similar names, Netherlands and Denmark. It's important to remember that Holland is only two regions out of 12 in the Netherlands, meaning not everyone living there comes from Holland. 5. If you don't keep to your words Trust and quality are essential to those hard-working people, so if you want to keep them happy, then make sure whatever you do, keep up your end of the bargain and be reliable. Lying is frowned upon by pretty much everyone, but even more so in Dutch culture, where a strong emphasis is put on values like trustworthiness. If you want things to stay smooth sailing, then don't even think about trying any funny business, because as soon as they find out, not only will there be disappointment, but also anger and resentment. Two things nobody wants in their lives. 6. Don't talk badly about the local football club if you're looking for a surefire way to annoy Dutch people, then look no further than talking bad about their beloved football club. The Netherlands is an incredibly passionate nation when it comes to the beautiful game, and they take great pride in their local teams. Whether it's Ajax, PSV Eindhoven or Feyenoord, any slight against them will be met with fiery indignation from Dutch locals. It might seem obvious, but if you don't want to get on the wrong side of a room full of Dutch fans, then don't talk down about their team. It may seem like harmless banter, but any negative comments could quickly lead to a tense atmosphere and some very unhappy supporters. 7. Wasting their time Wasting time is one of the surefire ways to annoy the Dutch. These people are known for being efficient, so any hint of inefficiency and procrastination will certainly get under their skin. For starters, try showing up late or unprepared. 
This can take many forms, from taking your sweet time at a business meeting or social gathering to displaying sloppy punctuality when coordinating activities with friends and colleagues. Not only does this irk Dutch folks due to its lack of courtesy by not respecting other people's schedule, or worse yet, making them wait, but it also stirs up their natural aversion towards wasting time. 8. Visiting unannounced They are known far and wide for their easy-going personalities, pleasant smiles and polite mannerisms, so it's no wonder that visitors to this friendly nation sometimes get confused about how best to interact with its citizens. Sure, there are some friendly customs, such as taking off your shoes before entering a home or saying hi when you move into an elevator together. But if there's one way to annoy the Dutch people, it's visiting unannounced. Have you ever tried turning up at someone's house without telling them first? The awkwardness of the situation is palpable, and yet many people don't even think twice about doing just that in Netherlands. Unsurprisingly then, rather than feeling welcomed by unexpected guests showing up on their doorstep, most Dutch people feel uncomfortable when somebody drops by unexpectedly. 9. Not following the queue It's true, Dutchies take queues very seriously. Whether it's in grocery stores, at post offices or any other little errands they might have, when taking your turn in line isn't taken seriously, they won't be happy campers, believe me. So, if you don't want to get some side-eye from them while queuing up, make sure you remember, never cut in line. It's also important to note that Dutchies often take the first-come, first-served approach. Even if you've been waiting around for 10 minutes, they'll most likely still go ahead of you. 10. Comparing the Netherlands to other countries It's an age-old game. My country can beat up your country. People love to play it and usually there are some amazing comebacks and hilarious hayekas shared amongst opponents. But when it comes to Dutch people, don't even go there. Comparing the Netherlands with any other nation will bring on the wrath of the Dutchies. You see, being from such a tiny nation, they take great pride in their unique culture, heritage and society. And if you try to compare them with any other European or global giants like Germany or France, well, let's just say that you'd be better off not mentioning either one of those countries in their presence. They won't hesitate to show how indignant they feel at being compared in such unfavourable terms, no matter how tongue-in-cheek your joke was intended. 11. Being over-friendly If you're planning a trip to the Netherlands, there is one thing you must keep in mind. Don't be too friendly. Sure, we all like to bond with people and make new friends while travelling, but when it comes to visiting the Dutch, over-friendliness will seriously annoy them. The Dutch have a certain way of communicating that can come off as quite guarded or even unfriendly to outsiders. This doesn't mean they are not warm people, far from it. They just prefer more subtle forms of communication than what some other cultures might do. So if you approach them being overly cheerful or familiar with them right away, chances are they won't respond very well. 12. Talking about Zwarte Piet, Black Piet If you know the Netherlands, you probably shouldn't talk about Zwarte Piet. This favourite Christmas figurine is a quick method to upset Dutch people. Since 1848, Zwarte Piet, also known as Black Peter or Sinterklaas Helper, has been played by someone in blackface makeup and curly wigs. Some say that he symbolises an essential aspect of Dutch history, while many have brought out his racial implications, therefore this topic often sparks passionate disputes. If you're talking to a Dutch individual, avoid this topic unless you want to raise their ire. In conclusion, it is important to remember that while the Dutch are welcoming and friendly people, it is also important to continue being respectful when visiting or interacting with them. Avoiding the 12 common things mentioned in this video will help you cultivate good relationships with Dutch locals and ensure your interactions are pleasant for both parties involved. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and turn on the notification bell.